Okay, one little bonus video on here. Technically, well, that last video was all of the Section 5.5 material that you need. Um, it's pretty pretty simple. Um, but I wanted to point out that when you're doing this division, when you're splitting up a fraction like we did there, um, you cannot split up the fraction in this way. If you have uh, addition on the bottom part of the fraction, you cannot split it up like this. You can't say this is the same as 1 over 1 plus 1, or, you know, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, because obviously this is, this is 1 half and this over here is 2. Those are clearly not the same number. So something different is going on here. Um, well, what, what's different is we just can't do that. Uh, there is no, there is no um, property that, that allows, that says we can do that. So if you wanted to divide by something, um, you can see it down here I have, um, this is, I just want to say this is not part of what you need to know for this course. So if you're, if you're running low on time, just skip the rest of this video. Um, but if you're interested in seeing how you would approach something along these lines, x cubed over plus, uh, x plus 1 over um, x plus 1 rather, um, then what we would use is we're actually going to, um, you're going to use either long division or synthetic division. Synthetic division is just kind of a refined version of long division. Um, and I'm going to just kind of remind you, if you haven't seen it in a while, how you do long division. You're going to do 579 divided by 7. You write it like this. It's feels weird. It's going right to left. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, 7 goes into 5. Not at all. 7 goes into 57, though. Let's see. 56, actually, uh, is 8 times 7. So you get 56, and you subtract that off. Uh, and you get a 19, because you drop the 1 down. So you subtract it off, you get the 1. Drop the 9 down, we get a 19. 7 goes into 19 twice. Uh, that would be 14. And when we subtract that off, we get a 5. Um, and you could keep going here if you're looking for a decimal, or you could say this as a remainder of 5. And really what this means is that 579 divided by 7 is equal to 82 and 5 sevenths. If you're trying to convert things into a mixed number, this is one of the ways you can do it. Um, but that's really what that remainder is. And we're going to use a, well, the identical technique here, but with polynomials instead. I'm going to do x cubed plus, um, well, I'm going to leave actually some blank spots here, 0x squared plus 0x plus 1. Um, and I'm dividing this by x plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, what number, or you know, how many times can x plus 1 go into x cubed? Well, I'm going to take x squared, because x squared times x plus 1, when I multiply that out, I get x cubed plus x squared x squared times x plus 1, that's x squared times x, which is x cubed, and x squared times 1, which is x squared. I'll subtract this off, but really I'm going to, you know, I'm subtracting the entire thing, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to subtract both of these terms. Um, those cancel, and I get some subtraction here. 0 minus 1 is negative, uh, the opposite of x squared, or negative 1x squared. Um, and then I'm going to do this again. I'm going to say, oh, I'll drop down the 0. Whatever. I don't really need to write it, though. <clears throat> um, x plus 1 goes into the opposite of x. Well, I will multiply this by the opposite of x. Um, so the opposite of x times x gives me the opposite of x squared. The opposite of x times 1 gives me the opposite of x. Okay, now I want to subtract this thing off. But in order to subtract this off, I'm going to distribute this negative through here. Those cancel, which gives me a 0 here, which is what I wanted. Now I'll do 0x plus x, which gives me x. Drop down the next value. And I get x plus 1 goes into x plus 1 exactly once. Looks like, looks like I didn't actually get a remainder here. Um, if I had had a remainder, this would be my denominator. But um, this actually gives me x cubed plus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus x plus 1. So this is how we would end up doing division by polynomials. Um, like I said, it is this is called long division. It's a, the exact same technique as what I was doing up here, only I have to be a bit more careful about how I'm doing stuff. And I'm using polynomials instead of integers. But it's the same sort of idea. Um, so there is that. If you're interested in looking at more of those or looking at a more sophisticated way, there's a bunch of additional steps that are not really necessary here. And that's what, oops, 
that's what the synthetic division that I mentioned up here um, basically takes and boils down just the important parts and it gives you a way of doing this uh, sort of long division without doing all the extra steps that, that are necessary in long division. Um, but you don't need to know that for this class. You don't even need to know that if you're going into Math 95. Uh, you wouldn't need to know that until you get into College Algebra, which is Math uh, 121, 122. That's when you start to do some synthetic division or long division.